If you're struggling with getting good audio, then today I'm gonna to give you the magic numbers to dial into the compressor, the limiter, and the EQ within Final Cut Pro. It's all very well having good quality video, but if the audio sucks, it makes the whole thing unwatchable. So let's dive into Final Cut and take a look at how this all works. Now, if you've got some headphones, it might be a good idea to put them on because you'll be able to hear the audio adjustments better, but let's dive into Final Cut and just take a look. First of all, a few tips that will be really helpful is to, is once you've dropped your track onto the timeline, is just here, if you click on these audio signal bars there, you'll get the pop-up on the right-hand side here. And when you play the sound, you can now see it, so it's a lot larger. If you want to loop that sound, if you press the forward slash on the keyboard, and that will just jump back to the beginning. So already you can hear the sound is a bit thin. There's not enough bass in it. Cancellation using three mics, 360 audio. What's this all mean? And are they any good? Well, it's a bit wispy. The audio levels are only just coming above 12, just about hitting minus, minus 12, just about hitting minus six, which is great. That's where I quite like to have my recordings. So there's no popping or clipping and it's easy for me then just to boost this up a little bit using the compressor click on the effects tab here and if we go down to audio first of all we want to go to levels and i'm going to go to the logic tab where we've got the compressor and i'm going to click and drag that onto my track so now you can see on the right hand side we've got the compressor if you're not seeing this window then these three bars at the top, you need to click these to show where the adjustments are. Now to open up the compressor, you click the little square and now you've got the compressor here. If I play this again, you can see the input level there is quite consistent. If it's a bit weak, you can add to it and you just will push up. The magic settings we need to start with is threshold, we want that to be about minus six. So minus 20 is too high. And the ratio, you want to put this at somewhere between two and three. So we'll just put it at two and a half. And the knee, you want to be putting it at between one and 0.8. And the attack, we want that to be about three. And the release, we want to have at 13. about 13 or 14. Now the threshold is how loud the sound will be until it kicks in. The ratio is how much compression you want. The knee is how long will it keep compressing for. And the attack is how long until it starts. And release is how quickly it stops. And the makeup, we can if you want, give that a little boost that will affect the overall sound you can either just leave that at zero or you might want to just add a little more and then if we just play that again cancellation using three mics 360 audio what's this all mean and are they any good well and already you can see that the sound levels are coming up to above the minus six so i want my db to be about minus six to minus three i don't want it to hit go above zero because it'll be clipping and for voice that will be just perfect for me now if you want to see what's happening a little more on your timeline you can hit the plus button to make your clip larger and then on the right hand side if you click this little symbol here you can see this is how much of the audio track you'll see the waveform and you'll see if I click the far left one, we can see the waveform really easily. If we click the far right one, it removes it. Let's move on now to the limiter audio. If we go to levels, go to logic and you'll see limiter, click and drag that onto your clip. And then the right hand side, click the little square and you'll get the pop out. If you want to see this larger, you can hit 100%. Now with the limiter, we want to stop any clipping. So it means we can boost the sound a little more, but we just make sure no clipping. There is within the compressor, a limiter. It has less control. So you can use this limiter here. 
It's better to use a dedicated limiter where you've got more controls over the gain release, output level and look ahead. So the numbers we need to put in here as a good starting point, the release is how slow it'll stop. So you want it nice and smooth, you don't want it to suddenly stop. So you want that about 300, something like that, 300 milliseconds. And that will give us a nice smooth release. So you won't get any jarring with the vocals. The look ahead, put that at two. Output level, we'll leave at minus three. And then I'm going to play the track again and see how much gain I need. Now the gain, we want it to be just coming into this reduction box here. So if I play the track and you can see my output levels are still slightly low. So we're just going to add the gain now until we see it popping into the reduction area there. And I could probably give it a little bit more. And as you can see, it's just popping in there. And now we're just going to pop the EQ on, channel EQ, drop that on the right hand side we can just play the track listen to the audio and give it any boost where we feel we need it now to see the waveform if you click the analyzer now these here stop any high frequencies and low frequencies which you don't tend to get in the voice it's more for music editing this side here is the bass up here are the high notes and this is the bass in the voice so to give a deeper fuller voice we can just lift this up here now if you click on these symbols at the top you can see it's just isolating these specific points now you can move these around anywhere but let's just start with tweaking the voice so if i pull here and you want to do this all quite subtly otherwise you get a lot of unnatural echo if you want that waveform to be narrower you can click on bottom numbers and you can see it's narrowing the pattern. So the base, you want to have that a little wider and smoother. You may want to, depending on your voice and the mic you're using, lift up some of this top end here if you want the voice to be a little brighter. If you get some sounds that sound a little bit distorted, they're often in this midsection. And what you can do here to find those is take one of these buttons and narrow its wave and scrub up and down and look for any noises, any sounds. Let's just narrow that. And again, cut those out. So that's more advanced. You can choose from some of these defaults. You've got voice here and you've got male, female voices. They may work well for your type of voice or your client's voice. Now, of course, everybody's voice is different and the audio recording equipment is different. But if you're recording yourself and you're always using the same audio equipment and you've found the perfect adjustments, once you've made them, once you've got them set in here, you can just simply go save effects. You can call it whatever you want and then you can save all of those effects you've made or some of them you can untick these you can put them where you want i've got my own little folder and i can save it in there save and then when you scroll down there's my audio presets and here's my one i've just made if you want to delete that out or locate it, you can go reveal in Finder and that will bring up all these audio presets and you just delete it from there and it will remove it from Final Cut. Um, and for my last tip here, the other thing that might be useful is to use the voice isolation. You can just tick that on and then you can just move this up and down to see if that actually improves. If you've got a lot of external noise in the room or you're using lapel mic out on location, it works really well. You can use these other adjustments here but you'll find if you've done the compressor limiter and channel EQ correctly, then you probably won't need to use those. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions or knowledge to share, please let us know. And if you subscribe to the channel, let us know in the comments so I can personally thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.